Hi guys. No makeup Thursday. I love no makeup Thursday. It's always good. As long as the hair is done, the nails are good. You can do without the makeup. I have a great project for you today, but uh, before we get to it, I have a huge thank you to send out to you guys. We hit 3000 subscribers on Monday. I was so excited. <laughs> It's a nice little milestone to see that number pop up. And of course, we want to continue to grow this. So uh, really want you to know how much we appreciate your support in all of these videos. It, it goes a long way and we are very, very thankful. Fun, fun project today. And we have a great giveaway. So you're going to get, uh, one of you is going to get a great little kit to do the project that we're doing today. So you'll have the surface, you'll have all of the materials, plus you're going to get a funky stencil brush as well. So don't forget to leave your name and uh, where you're watching from in the comment section and if you haven't subscribed already please do that hit the subscribe button and you'll automatically be entered in that draw so lots of fun today this one is more for uh, you and the kids so this one is a pencil case this one's going to be fun and uh, doesn't involve a whole lot of paint but it does involve a stencil and some decoupage medium and let's show you right now Okay, so what I have here is a pencil case. And I used a stencil to put some bright pink polka dots in the background. And then I used a decoupage technique to put this fun little skull in. And this is how I did it. I love decoupage. You can do so much with it. I found these in a local dollar store. These are just cocktail napkins. And the paper is quite thin. And you can literally split it apart, take that back piece off which we're going to do once it's cut out. But this image was just so cute and so fun and very timely with Halloween and Day of the Dead coming up in the next month or so. So I thought that this would be a fun way to get the kids involved in some crafting at home. And so this was the ideal solution to that. Now there's a couple of ways you can do this. Um, one is to actually cut the image out of the tissue paper or out of the napkin and then peel off that backing. Or you could pop it into a color printer or color photocopier and make a photocopy and cut them out. Now for small children, this is what I would recommend is using the copy paper to create the image because it's a little more forgiving, it's a little stronger, whereas the tissue paper is a little more delicate. So for the older kids, um, this one can be done, but for the little ones, I would suggest using this. Now I'm using a stencil to create the background and I've chosen uh, one color. I chose this vibrant green because there's quite a bit of green in the, in the leaves and around the face. And so I chose that sour apple green and we need a little bit of Decor's fabric painting medium. And we're going to mix the two together about two to one, so two parts paint to one part fabric medium. And then you're going to use a palette knife to mix the two. Move that bottle out of the way. Now what the fabric medium does is it makes the paint washable. And that's the goal here. So we're going to use this fabric decoupage medium to create a washable craft. So there's that fabric medium, it's well mixed into that paint. Now I'm going to use a stencil brush and you can be a little more generous with the paint on this one because you're working on fabric. So I'm going to apply it in the same manner that I always do and that's in a circular fashion and change directions frequently. And when you find you're not getting any color. Simply go back and reload the stencil brush. Now I tape my stencil in place for a good reason. You don't want it to shift. I did one earlier and I was being lazy and didn't tape it in place and I ended up making a mess. So uh, tape your stencil in place. That way you won't have to worry about it shifting and you won't have to worry about trying to get it back in the position that you had it in the first place. So you'll end up with nice consistent stencil. Now I've used this bubbles stencil but you could use almost anything. I mean polka dots or diamonds or little checkerboards anything to just dress up this background a little bit. Any shape you want will work just fine. Just try to pull a color out of whatever image I'm using. 
so that they complement the the image. So unlike I've done in this this one here, I used a bright pink mixed with the fabric medium so that it would match the bright pink in the in the skull. Okay, I think I'm just about there. I want to brighten up a couple of these bubbles a little bit. There we go. And this is just fun. I mean, the kids could do this with multiple colors if you wanted to. You don't have to stick with just one. Use as many colors as you want. Awesomeness. I love it. Nice bright wine green. So you can set this aside to dry, or I'm going to take my handy dandy dryer. Now the nice thing about this fabric painting medium is that once it's heat set and it's completely dry and cured, it is fully washable, which means you just toss it in the washer with your regular clothes. Awesome stuff. So there we go. That's dry enough to the touch that we can continue. Now, when you're cutting these out, let's talk about cutting this out. I use a very tiny pair of decoupage scissors. These are very sharp and come to a very sharp point. And so when you're cutting them out, you want to leave just a little border of that black, but still get fairly close to the image. You don't want a big border on it. So I usually will cut it out like this, and then I will go in and trim. So that there's about an eighth of an inch around the nice part is, is with the kids, it's, neatness doesn't really count with this, but if they can get close to it, you know, give them permission to make a border around it, that's okay. So you don't have to be particularly accurate, and just so that there's a little border there. Kids like cutting things out. Give them a pair of scissors. Nothing is sacred when you put a pair of scissors in a child's hands. There we go. So I've got one cut out. It doesn't take very long. This one I've done from the napkin, but as I said, you can photocopy and do it that way. You could do multiples. They don't all have to go in a perfect row. They can go wherever. The kids can decide that for themselves. But I kind of like the idea of having two on there. Do you have a girl? I do have a girl. Okay. I have a girl I'll cut out. So I can tuck her in here. I could do it this way, so that, that works. Off in the corners. Oh, I like that. That works. So you can have a little bit of fun with it. If you wanted to, you could print out their name or have them write their name on. Uh, they can get your hands on one of these. This is an IdentiPen. You can find these at Michael's. These actually work permanently on fabric, so you can label children's clothing. And you can have them write their own name on their pencil case so that they don't lose it. Or if it does go missing, people know who to give it to. So we're working with Decorts Fabric Decoupage. I really like this stuff. It's, um, it's nice to work with. So this napkin piece, you can peel that back off very easily. Just like so. So I'm going to have one down here. I kind of like this upside down version. And I'm going to peel the back off of this one. Just have to get it to separate a little bit. There we go. And then peel that. Just like so. It's a little finicky with the napkin, but with the regular paper it's a little easier for the kids. So leave the finicky for mom and dad. There we go. Oh, yeah, I like this. Like a plain curd. So then, this is the fun part. I love working with this stuff. This, it's kind of jelly looking at first. So you're going to put a fairly generous coat on here like so, and make sure you brush it right into the fabric. It is going to fill in those gaps, but don't be shy with it. Just 
there we have one spot. And then you're going to carefully place this in and press it into or onto that wet surface. And then take a little more and drop it in the center of the face. And then brush from the center out, like so. And this does two things. One, it helps seat it into the medium underneath but it also removes any bubbles and blisters from the center out. So now it covers the surface and at the same time has helped smooth it out so that you don't get any crinkles or ripples or bubbles in the finish. So now it is well and truly sealed into and onto that fabric. So now that one just gets to dry a little. So I'm going to turn this upside down. And we'll repeat the process on this side. It's kind of gooey looking, but it works like a charm. Let's make sure you brush it out well. Just like so. There's nothing to stop you from doing this first and then stenciling. You can do this in any order you like. Stenciling after the fact would be cool too. So then I'm going to drop this guy in right about there and press that into place and take another little daub of that and drop it into the middle and brush from the center out. Like I said, it looks a little gooey for a bit, but it works. That way your paper, your napkin, is well seated into that medium. And brushes up quite nicely. Now I'm going to finish sealing all of this area here. Now this is such an easy project. It has a high success rate, especially for little ones. If you use that photocopied version, you could actually take, have them take their own artwork, their own design work, put it through a color photocopier, and then cut out their images and decoupage them onto their own pencil cases. And they can add color and make things their own. This is a fun little project. Now, once this has had some time to completely dry, you just simply take that piece of cardboard out of the inside of the pouch. And there you have it. Fun little pencil case project. Now this same technique can be used on all sorts of things. You can use it on t-shirts and backpacks and pencil cases and all sorts of fun little projects for the kids to keep them busy and uh, to create something of their own. So that's it for this week. Thanks so much guys. So that's it for today. It's a fun one. It's super easy. You can use this technique on a variety of things and decorate some shopping bags, pencil cases, even t-shirts. You can do all kinds of fun projects with the kids with this one. Get ready for Day of the Dead for Halloween, making masks, fabric masks and whatnot. Decorate them up using some decoupage medium, some glitter and maybe some dimensional paint. You can have all kinds of fun with the kids with this. Okay guys, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Let us know where you're watching from and uh, you'll be entered in that draw for that great little project kit. We'll send that along to our winner. We'll mention that to you next week on our next midweek video. Don't forget, join me here every Thursday for No Makeup Thursday. Have a great week and a great weekend. I'll see you on Saturday for my live on Facebook Live. And in the meantime, mwah, love you. Stay safe.